History indicates that the Buddha wandered in these floodplains of India somewhere in the 6th and 5th centuries BC. A few millennia later, in a renewed world, this is one of the largest cities in the mid-Gangetic plains of India, Gorakhpur. Located in the foothills of the Himalayas, the city falls in the basins of the Rohini and Rapti rivers. Its bowl-like shape makes it naturally prone to floods. But now, things are getting worse. Climate data over the last three decades shows that Gorakhpur has been shifting towards a muggy climate, meaning there is more temperature and moisture in the atmosphere. Climate projections indicate that this trend is likely to become more intense in the future, resulting in more rains and more floods. Is the city prepared for such a future? But wait! Before we delve into the future, it's worth spending some time on Gorakhpur's present and not so old past. In an earlier time, this was a city of over a hundred lakes. Today, two thirds of these lakes are dead. They are either sites for illegal construction or dumping grounds for solid waste. As there is no organized solid waste management system, waste is disposed of wherever possible. Open drains carry sewage from homes, as most parts of the city are not covered by an underground sewage system. This raw, untreated sewage is then pumped straight into the already stifled lakes of the city. The housing needs of a burgeoning population are being met through rampant construction in the city's green belt. So the big question is that when every inch of Gorakhpur is encroached upon, including its water bodies, its green belt and its peri-urban land, what does it mean for the city? It means that when a regular monsoon comes calling, the rainwater finds no drainage and leaves every nook and corner flooded and waterlogged. Slum dwellers like Bibi Shah Jahan bear the brunt for several months after the monsoon. They live in a toxic island of rainwater, waste and sewage. Where does all this lead to? Beginning July, the pediatric ward of BRD Medical College in Gorakhpur faces a severe manpower crunch. Hapless parents scramble to get their children treated for various water and vector-borne diseases. But the more shocking tragedy unfolds in the pediatric encephalitis ward, where nearly 500 children succumb to the epidemic every year. <laughs> Such are the tales of today's Gorakhpur. Science predicts that tomorrow's Gorakhpur may be worse off due to an unfamiliar, unfriendlier climate. But is anyone listening? In 2008, an initiative by the Rockefeller Foundation called the Asian Cities Climate Change Resilience Network brought together 10 cities in Asia to demonstrate practical strategies for responding to climate change. Gorakhpur was one such city. It took a couple of years and a vigorous engagement among local experts, climate scientists, the city government and the citizens, particularly the poor, before Gorakhpur got its very own climate change resilience strategy. The task of implementing this strategy began in the bylanes of Maheva, an urban slum devoid of every basic amenity. Come monsoons and the ward submerged. Change was triggered by the Gorakhpur Environment Action Group, which involved 
every household in the ward in microplanning and built community groups around health, waste and sanitation. And then the community members themselves led the action on Ground Zero. Waste that was thrown on the streets got collected from every doorstep. Drains were fixed through community participation. New tap connections were put in place. Quite clearly, Maheva was reborn in a new avatar and became a learning model of an urban climate resilient community. But the question still remained on how to take this learning beyond the confines of Maheva. We found it very useful and important to look at the regulations and policies that are impacting or that are, that are steering urban development process in cities like Gorakhpur. And a detailed uh, recommendation strategy was prepared by Terry for Gorakhpur city, uh, of course at the state level and the city level to see how they can climate proof their, resi uh, their city through uh, resilience options, integrating them within their regular urban development process. Terry's recommendations have given Gorakhpur a clear roadmap to transform into a climate resilient city. Yes, the challenges are enormous, but not impossible. There is reason to believe that if citizens persist, governments respond. And together, they can rewrite the tales of Gorakhpur. <laughs>